Good afternoon, and I'd like to welcome you to the Indiana University School of Dentistry White Coat Ceremony for the class of 2017 at the inaugural uh, International Dentist Program. I'm John Williams, and I'm honored to serve as dean of the school. This ceremony is traditionally held early in the academic year for first-year DDS students as they complete their first six weeks with us. This coincides with the completion of their course on professionalism and ethics. This year, these first-year students are joined by the inaugural class of the IU International Dentist Program. This program allows dentists to have graduated from dental schools outside of North America to expand their U.S. credentials with two years of study at the Indiana University School of Dentistry. We are honored to have all of our students with us today. This is a special day in the lives of these young men and, and women who have chosen to enter the dental profession. I'm reminded of a scene from the movie Patch Adams. Who remembers Patch Adams? A few folks over here? Okay. Great, great movie. Robin Williams, no relationship, although I wish, you know. When the dean addressed the first year medical students, uh, medical student class, and tells them, today you are doctors. Today, you are doctors. And so I say to each of you, each of our dental students, today, you are doctors. This places a tremendous amount of responsibility on you today and henceforth throughout your professional career. You have made a conscientious decision to enter a professional life of service to others and have made a commitment to lifelong learning and to abide by the highest ethical principles of our profession. I applaud you for your decision, and I know that you've been looking forward to this milestone uh, today in the White Coat Ceremony. It's important for us to pause from the rigors of study, from the rigors of preparation, examination, and evaluation, to step back and acknowledge the significance and the solemnity of this ceremony. The class has prepared an oath which they will uh, cite together which brings forth their unique understandings of the ethical actions and elements of professionalism. I would like to reference several components of the oath which uh, you will find on the back of the program for both the uh, first year class and the international class, which will be referenced later uh, in our ceremony. Because in the health professions, we are called upon to do a number of things. Today, you are doctors. First, we put others above self. We commit ourselves to lifelong learning, realizing that there is only a limited amount of time and information that we can receive during our formal education. It's incumbent upon us con to continue the commitment to the very best of our profession. The profession of dentistry continually changes. We have new evidence-based uh, scientific discoveries, and it is incumbent upon each of us to do all that we can to uh, garner new knowledge and apply that knowledge to our patients, staying current and continuing to enhance our skills and knowledge throughout our lifetime. The oath also talks about a sacred duty to teach the public. As health professionals, you'll be a teacher, encouraging your patients to improve their health, not only their oral health, but their overall systemic health and the value that that has for the quality of life in society. The value of oral health for individuals is a priceless possession. It facilitates the ability to speak well, to feel good about oneself, the ability to hold a job, the ability to enjoy food, and is the heart of one's self, sense of self. Your commitment is also a much uh, intrinsically tied to the professional ethics of the, professional, uh, of the profession embodied in the code of ethics uh, as outlined by the American Dental Association. I'm sure you'll hear more about these themes from our speaker later this afternoon, as well as throughout your dental curriculum and the importance of serving as an ethical practitioner. It is the cornerstone on which our profession is grounded. Today, you are doctors. We also call upon you to lend your support and influence to dental education and research. Some of you may be interested in pursuing a career in dental academics, public health, 
or a variety of options, career options await you. I would encourage you to think about the multiple opportunities which lie ahead. And we'll certainly be talking with you more about that uh, with you in the years to come. And finally, you've made a commitment to service. I always encourage students to think about taking care of your loved ones in the context of patient care. Is this what your mother would like to have done to her? Did you study enough? Did you prepare enough? Did you do the very best you possibly can to take care of your loved ones? I know there are a number of, of uh, mothers in the audience today, and I'm amplifying this along with fathers certainly as well. But think of them. Think of those parents who've always wanted the very best for you. And in turn, we expect you to prov provide the very best for your patients. That will serve you well throughout your career. The actions that you undertake, the provision of diagnosis and treatment that you provide to your patients, always keep in mind, is this the right thing, the appropriate thing? Is this something that I would want to have done to me? Today, you are doctors. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you our afternoon speaker, uh, Dr. Charles Steffel. Dr. Steffel earned his baccalaureate uh, science degree from Purdue University in 1974 and graduated with distinction from the IU School of Dentistry uh, in 1978. He went on to pursue specialty training in, in endodontics uh, and received his master of science degree in dentistry from the uh, Boston University Goldman School of Graduate Dentistry. And he served as a professor uh, at the school, at the dental school here in uh, Indiana from 1980 to 2009. He took a brief hiatus uh, during which time he served uh, as uh, the uh, trustee from the seventh district for the, to the American Dental Association, a significant leadership role in our profession uh, at the highest level. He's rejoining, uh, I'm delighted to report that he's rejoining the IUSD faculty as a part-time uh, professor in endodontics uh, this fall, and I gave you a promotion, Chuck. He was concerned about his title earlier on. Dr. Steffel's involvement in the dental profession is extensive. He's a past trustee, as I already mentioned, to the American Dental Association, has served on numerous committees and boards uh, during his 33 years of service with the American Dental Association. He's also past uh, president and trustee to the Indiana Dental Association, and there he's served on over 20 committees. He's active in the Indianapolis District Dental Society, the American Association of Endodontics, the Indiana Association of Endodontics, and has served as a member of the Indiana State Department of, of Health, uh, Oral Health Advisory Board. He received honors from the o Omicron Kappa Upsilon, the Pierre Fouchard Academy, the International College of Dentists, the American College of Dentists, and the Indiana Dental Association. And most recently uh, was awarded uh, the Maynard Hine Award, the highest award offered by the Indiana Dental Association um, just this spring. He's the author of numerous uh, publications and has done presentations on continuing education um, to local dental organizations and local television and radio uh, presentations. Dr. Steffel and his lovely wife, Nancy, live in downtown Indianapolis, not too far away from the campus, and he uh, retains a private practice in endodontics in the north side of the city. Please join me in welcoming to the podium today our White Coat Ceremony Speaker, Dr. Charles Steffel. Good afternoon, and welcome. To the 19, to the 19, to the 2013 White Coat Ceremony. Uh, I want to welcome especially um, all of the family and friends of our incoming students, both four-year dental students and the new inaugural international students. What is a White Coat Ceremony? Uh, a lot of people consider it a welcoming to the profession, uh, a rite of passage um, to a career in health care. Uh, it was started in the early 90s at uh, Columbia University uh, School of Medicine and has spread widely throughout the medical and dental community. Welcome to the profession. What is a profession? 
We all heard that term, we use it constantly. But what does it mean? It's one of those things that we all know what it means, but we can't put it in words. Uh, the origin of the word profession started back in the 1400s, according to the Oxford Dictionary of English. Uh, it first meant, it first pertained only to the clergy. Someone entering uh, a religious sect would profess their faith and profess uh, their beliefs. Uh, that term really pertained only to clergy uh, for over 100 years. But back in the 1500s, uh, a secular meaning started to be used, meaning uh, a, an occupation where members would profess special knowledge or skill. Classically, there were only three learned professions, uh, divinity, medicine, and law. But in modern times, we use that term widely to describe many, many different occupations as professions. The uh, profession can be defined as a calling requiring specialized knowledge and a long and often intensive academic preparation. Welcome to dental school. A professional is a person who is engaged in a certain activity or livelihood as a permanent career. It's not just what you do today, but for the rest of your lives, you'll be known as a dentist. When you are retired, when you move to perhaps some other field of work, you'll always be known as the dentist. And even when you retire, people will refer to you as doctor. You'll never go to a restaurant and say, table for four ready for Plumber Jones. But they'll always say, table ready for Dr. Smith. But what is a professional? What will you be as members of the dental profession? And I come to this point and want to tell you a story in my life that really moved me and has stuck with me all my life. My first lecture when I went to Boston to uh, start my endodontic training, I was studying under Dr. Herb Schilder. Now, no one in this room probably knows who Dr. Herb Schilder is, but I'm sure you all know who Dr. Schilder is. Has everyone in this room ever seen the movie Finding Nemo, the Pixar Disney movie? When the fish were in the gold, were in the fish tank in the dental office, and they're starting to watch the root canal, and boy, it's a doozy, and he's opening it up with a Gator Glindro because he's been uh, favoring that lately. He was doing the Schilder technique, and when I saw that movie with my wife, my jaw dropped. I mean, like, how can a professor of such a specialized, tiny little piece of the world uh, be recognized throughout the world at a Disney movie? And then I think back to Dr. Schilder was such a mentor and such a leader, not just in the profession of dentistry, but in my life, in my personal life. And this first lecture with Dr. Schilder was a life lesson. He walks into a room, and the first words out of his mouth is, what's your definition of a professional? And we all started talking about uh, being an expert, having specialized skills and knowledge. Um, we talked about an expert who was a master of a specific area. Uh, it implies high quality work. Um, some companies nowadays will use the term professional uh, to imply that their service or work is, is high quality uh, in their names or in their advertisements. How many times have you seen your professional dry cleaners or your professional uh, carpet company or even your professional exterminator? It implies skill, knowledge, and training. A lot of times there's a reference to professionals to be distinguished from amateurs, thus the term a professional football player or a professional golfer. And those were all the kinds of answers we were giving Dr. Schilder, and he kept shaking his head, no. That's not what he was looking for. His definition was very different and very, very specific. A professional is someone who puts their patient's well-being ahead of their own. A professional is someone who puts their patient's well-being ahead of their own. Man walks into an appliance store. The salesman walks up to him and says, yes, sir, what can we do for you today? Where are the refrigerators? Well, why do you ask? 
Well, I open the door and light bulb doesn't come on in mine. Salesman looks at him and says, right this way, sir. And by the way, this is the best refrigerator money can buy. That's what you would expect from a business person. That's what you expect from a salesperson because that's their job. However, when that patient walks into your office and says, something doesn't feel right here, and you've just finished school with hundreds of thousands of dollars of educational debt, you're starting a family and your spouse is looking at you like, you know, we need more money to buy that first house, to make that car payment. Uh, life has responsibilities on you as you start your career in the profession of dentistry. What are you going to do? Well, if you're a professional, you're always going to put your patient's well-being ahead, ahead of your own. You're never going to think about that car payment, that house payment, or any other obligation. But you're going to think, as Dr. Williams said, if this was my mother, what would I do for her? What is in the patient's best interest? So we have to start thinking in the terms of we are different than the average occupation. We are different than the average business. And don't let me you know, say that dentistry is not a business, but it's a different kind of business. We are serving our patients. Most people have heard of the uh, book uh, Freakonomics, uh, written in 2005 uh, by Levitt and Debner. And in their book, they tell the story of the real estate agents. Real estate agents have what's called a monopoly of knowledge. They know a lot more about the value of your home than you, as a buyer or a seller, ever have. So you go to that real estate agent and you ask for their advice, for their skill, for their knowledge. But did you know that in Freakonomics they found out that the average real estate agent leaves their own home on the market longer, about approximately 10 days according to their study. And they sell their own home for more than they do their client's home, approximately 3%. The authors theorize it's because holding that home longer for a small increase in price gives them very, very little difference in their commission. But when it's their money and their house and that money goes directly into their pocket, it's significant. They do what's best for their business. Time is money, move each sale, go on to the next sale, and be a successful real estate agent. But once again, you're different. You're a professional. You put your individual patient's well-being ahead of your own. Due to the personal and sometimes very confidential nature of the services that many professionals do, it's necessary to place a great deal of trust in a profession. And most professions uh, are subject to very strict codes of conduct and ethics and moral uh, service. Regulation of the professions is typically self-regulation. Because of your monopoly of knowledge, your patient doesn't know what's wrong with them, but you do. Because of your monopoly of knowledge, self-regulation requires a body of peers, of experts, to regulate the profession. Well, lay people can't tell if the doctor is making the proper judgment or not. Only their peers can. And so this trust that the public gives you, a professional, is they expect you to treat them well, and they allow you the privilege of regulating your own. Unfortunately, not all dentists are professionals. The mere fact that we have a dental disciplinary board is proof enough. However, professionalism is an attitude as well as a credential. True professionals demonstrate constant ethics and good character, which elevates their profession and consistently results in benefit for both the doctor and the patient. 
don't get me wrong, you're in a business to make a living. Profit is not a dirty word. But the blessing of being in the dental profession is you will be well compensated. You will be rewarded for treating people properly. You can do well by doing good. I would like to remind you that you're becoming a professional by, you're not becoming a professional by being admitted into dental school, nor by passing through this white coat ceremony, nor even by earning that DDS degree in the coming years. Earning that degree makes you a healthcare provider. It does not make you a professional. You earn recognition as a professional by the way you treat your patients, by the way you conduct your practice, and by the way you live your life. You put your patient's well-being above all else. I hope all of you will remember today and remember this message. I want you to realize that today is not a welcoming into the profession. It's an invitation by the profession for you to join us. An invitation that we hope you will all take by the way you conduct yourself through school, through your practice, and through your life. So once again, welcome doctors to the profession. Good luck on your future and thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Steffel. Certainly words to, to keep in mind, not only today, but throughout uh, one's career. It's now a, a privilege to invite um, Anessa Michael, who is president of the American Student Dental Association. Uh, Anessa is a third year student uh, here at the School of Dentistry and will bring greetings on behalf of the American Student Dental Association. Anessa. Good afternoon. As Dean Williams remarked, my name is Anissa Michael, and I am serving as the president of the IU School of Dentistry's chapter of the American Student Dental Association. First of all, let me start by congratulating each and every one of you on your accomplishments thus far, and send my well wishes to all you will achieve in the next four years here. I earnestly believe you have chosen to pursue one of the most life-changing, rewarding professions out there. Now, whether or not you realize this, pending you have paid this semester's tuition, insert moans and groans here, the class of 2017 are all members of the American Student Dental Association, or ASDA. ASDA, in and of itself, is a national student organization that protects and advances the rights, interests, and welfare of dental students. For instance, through one of ASDA's more recent advocacy endeavors, ASDA Engage, 900 members from all across the nation wrote into their legislators, urging them to protect access to affordable student loans. In support of the Bipartisan Student Loan Certainty Act, which lowers the interest rate on federally backed Stafford loans, this letter writing campaign was deemed a huge success as the bill was passed by the Senate the end of last month. At the local chapter level, as part of the continued efforts backed by our faculty sponsor, Dean Williams, we plan to focus our energy towards shaping IU ASDA into an ideal chapter with student involvement at the forefront. Now, I may be a bit biased, but I hope that in your journey here, you are able to realize all that ASDA has to offer, providing services, information, education, representation, and advocacy, and that with this knowledge, you decide to join the more than 80% of your practicing predecessors by becoming part of the unified voice of organized dentistry through the ADA or similar institutions. With that, it is with my warmest wishes that I welcome you to the IUSD family. 
Hope to see you at an upcoming ASDA meeting. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anessa, for those uh, words of encouragement. And we have a very active uh, ASDA chapter, and as you mentioned, uh, I serve as a chapter advisor, uh, and it's a real privilege for me to work with uh, young men and women during their professional journey uh, in dentistry. Well, it's now time, believe it or not, uh, for the students to make their way to the stage where we will symbolically place the white coat over their shoulders signifying their entry into the dental profession. Today, your doctors. I'd ask those individuals uh, to come forward as I, or individuals who will be assisting uh, with this um, ceremony to come forward as I call your name. Uh, Dr. Chuck Steffel or Charles Steffel, you've already met. Uh, so Dr. Steffel, if you'll come forward, please, our uh, speaker this afternoon. Uh, we're also very honored to have Dr. Desiree Diamond, a 1990 graduate of the IU School of Dentistry who is currently serving as the president of the Indiana Dental Association. Dr. Diamond, welcome, thank you. They, they have X's up here, so they're, you know, they're dutifully following the um, stage direction. Uh, indeed, uh, it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Dr. Pamela Shaw, who serves as our Associate Dean for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Welcome, Dr. Shaw. And Dr. Melanie Peterson, our Assistant Dean for Admissions and Student Affairs, who is also serves as the Director of the International Dentist Program. Welcome, Dr. Peterson. In addition, we have invited um, select members of the health professions who are with us uh, today. Uh, these are typically family members um, who will assist in the donning of the white coat so uh, that family members can enjoy this special day uh, with their loved ones. Students will come forward uh, in groups of four, and I presume you already have received the instructions on how to do this. So you'll come up four at a time over here. Just come to the microphone, uh, introduce yourself by name, and uh, provide your hometown or, or uh, city or country of origin. Uh, and then take your position here. Family members, if you'll just accompany your, uh, your loved one at that time, and uh, we'll get the we, uh, coats going, and away we go. So, and the audience, please feel free to, to come forward and take pictures if you'd like. Uh, we certainly welcome that. So, I think uh, Dr. Babbler and Jennifer are going to lead you, no? All right, okay. You're up the first four, and away we go. Rania Asar, Fishers, Indiana. <laughs> Julia Abar, South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> Ahmad Abazari, Newport Coast, California. <laughs> Anu Annie Mashown, Goshen, Indiana. Debbie Batamosi, Indianapolis, Indiana. <laughs> Jacob Balcos, Toronto, Ontario. Hannah Becker, Wasian, Ohio. <laughs> Andrea Berge, Matamirai, Minnesota.
Kristen Bixler, Decatur, Indiana. Christopher Blanton, Aiken, South Carolina. Adam Brody, Carmel, Indiana. Kristen Bruner, Decatur, Indiana. Todd Butwin, Terre Haute, Indiana. Robert, Robert Carlson, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Christy Chan, West Lafayette, Indiana. Jessica Cole, Rushville, Indiana. Sarah Condra, Whiteland, Indiana. Beverly Cunningham, Johns Creek, Georgia. Andrea Dean, Fishers, Indiana. Aaron Duffy, Fishers, Indiana. Kate Dustman, Fort Wayne, Indiana. <laughs> Jessica Elspeman, Newburgh, Indiana. <laughs> Lana Elshar, Akron, Ohio. John Farthing, Denver, Colorado. Ben Fisher, Brownsburg, Indiana. <laughs> Brian Fraze, Carmel, Indiana. <laughs> Kendall Fraser, Greenfield, Indiana. Rochelle Geis, Indianapolis, Indiana. Sabina Gill, Selma, California. Bria Good, Columbus, Indiana. Brody Goodwine, Bedford, Indiana. Emily Hamble, Fort Wayne, Indiana.
Grant Hardesty, Plainfield, Indiana. Lauren Hippenmeyer, Bargersville, Indiana. <laughs> Hannah Hollowell, Muncie, Indiana. Philip Hoyt, Indianapolis, Indiana. Patricia Eilis, San Jose, California. <laughs> Brittany Isaac, Valparaiso, Indiana. <laughs> Noreen Jehangir, Coram, New York. <laughs> Melanie Jones, Pendleton, Indiana. George Juicy, Fishers, Indiana. Stephen Kegler, Indianapolis, Indiana. Michelle Kelly, Evansville, Indiana. Sean Kelly, Beach Lake, Pennsylvania. Heather Kent, Zionsville, Indiana. Joseph King, Newburgh, Indiana. Chris Kirkwood, Bicknell, Indiana. Ross Nepper, uh, Terre Haute, Indiana. Rachel Cole Greenwood, Indiana. Kurt Langdon, Carmel, Indiana. Chelsea Larson, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Marley Leist, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Michael Levy, Chicago, Illinois. Aaron Light, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Craig Lodes, Chillicothe, Ohio. Elizabeth Marshall, Muncie, Indiana. Jason Maxwell, Goshen, Indiana. Siddharth Mehta, South Bend, Indiana. Arshia Muhammad from Long Island, New York. 
Emily Murray, Carmel, Indiana. Brian Naylor, Grandview, Washington. Lauren Nelson, Elkar, Indiana. Shane New, Newcastle, Indiana. Molly Oster, Deerfield, Illinois. Rakeem Patel, Fishers, Indiana. Danielle Peterson, Hillsboro, Wisconsin. Alan Prowdy, Fox Lake, Illinois. Daxton Poland, St. George, Utah. Courtney Raypel, Columbia City, Indiana. Tori Richardson, Brooklyn, Michigan. Blythe Robbins, Connorsville, Indiana. Mary Salama, Indianapolis, Indiana. Salazar, Grable, Indiana. <laughs> Kevin Scherer, Garden City, Michigan. Evan Schmidt, Valparaiso, Indiana. <laughs> Kyle Scott, Oaktown, Indiana. John Seeley, Marietta, Georgia. Neelam Shaw, Kokomo, Indiana. Autumn Smith, Chicago, Illinois. Ben Stevens, Paoli, Indiana. Allison Strobes, Franklin, Indiana. <laughs> Ashley Sullivan, Indianapolis, Indiana. Jack Swartout, Westfield, Indiana. Jennifer Swick, Delphus, Ohio.
Elizabeth Taina, Indianapolis, Indiana. Chelsea Templeton, Indianapolis, Indiana. Marcus Thane, Emmett, Idaho. Sam Titus, Carmel, Indiana. Sarah Toma, Indianapolis, Indiana. Alexandra Troyer, Evansville, Indiana. Kevin Hung Trung, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Neelam Pachani, Munster, Indiana. Jeff Bellier, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Mark Vaughn, Greenwood, Indiana. Victor Vellon, Phoenix, Arizona. Caitlin Vicari, Glenview, Illinois. Matt Vogt, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Megan Wessner, Brownstown, Indiana. Jacqueline Wiles, Indianapolis, Indiana. Dylan Wiley, Zionsville, Indiana. Andrew Wilson, Evansville, Indiana. Elizabeth Wilson, Owensboro, Kentucky. Grace Zell, Michigan City, Indiana. International Dental Program. Let's hear some noise. Atif Ansari, Elaine, Pakistan. <laughs> Gagandeep Bath, international student from India. <laughs> Win Chen, international student from Myanmar. Akash Jokshi, international student from India. Samal Barawi, International Stadium from Egypt.
Nirupa Gariga, international student from India. Integration from Eastern Europe, Ukraine. Zahra Hasantash from Tehran, Iran. Abir Jabouri from Baghdad, Iraq. <laughs> Nivedita Saraf, Bangalore, India. Abu Bakr Mahmoud, Baghdad, Iraq. <laughs> Ali Mu'alla, Baghdad, Iraq. Shweta Nagraju from Tumkur, India. Uh, Bridges Patel, Surat, India. Isan Sadiqara, Tehran, Iran. Hussein Sahib, Baghdad, Iraq. Aaron Salimnia, Los Angeles, California. Nisha Tapalian, Kathmandu, Nepal. Alberto Tufasio, Philippines. Pratisha from India. Gopal, India. Nain Vyas, India. It's indeed a, a real honor for us to welcome you uh, this today. Today you're doctors, and it's certainly a very fitting uh, ceremony that we have uh, to commemorate this, this time. Over the past six weeks, uh, the class, uh, um, both the international and the um, class of 2017, had worked together under the direction of Dr. Bill Babler to create a class mission statement. They formulated this statement into their own dentist pledge which is on the back of your program. At this time, I would invite Jacob uh, Balcos, the newly elected uh, president of the class of 2017, to come forward and lead the class in reciting the pledge. Chase, or Jacob.
Thank you, Dr. Williams. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask my peers in the class of 2017 to join me in uh, reciting the pledge. So if you can all flip to the back page, and we'll say it all in unison. Actually, can everyone stand up as well, please? <laughs> okay. We, the class of 2017, hereby pledge to uphold the values and traditions of Indiana's School of Dentistry through a commitment to each other as to succeed as a group in surpassing our degree requirements and collaborating to deliver the highest quality patient-centered dental care. A commitment to ourselves, our instructors, and society to succeed academically and uphold the profession's trustworthy and empathetic reputation. A promise to treat our patients with respect, professionalism, and the compassion in a comfortable and caring atmosphere. A promise to selflessly advocate oral and systemic health through the community, including those who act, lack access to care through effective communication, leadership, and patient education. On our honor as healthcare professionals, we pledge to the lifelong study of dentistry with proud remembrance of our foundations at IUSD. Thank you, Dr. Williams. Thank you, faculty, family, and staff. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jacob, for that um, recitation. Very nice. We now invite um, students from our um, international program. Uh, they have also been working with the uh, with Dr. Babber in creating their own dental uh, pledge and dental oath. And I would would invite uh, the IDP student um, Ina Grishin to come forward, please. Good evening. Uh, friends and family, thank you all for coming this afternoon to enjoy this exciting moment in our lives. Uh, there is 22 of us. We are from all parts of the world, and we're super excited tonight. Uh, on behalf of our class, I would like to thank Dr. Williams and Dr. Peterson for giving us such a wonderful opportunity to be here today and become a part of IUSD family. Also, I want to mention Dr. Uh, Babbler, who helped us to create our professional oath. Uh, our special thanks go to Ms. Michelle Ferris for all of her hard work and continuous help as we were integrating to the program. Thank you so much. Uh, IDP class of 2015, please join me in standing as we share our professional oath. We, the pioneers of IDP program of Indiana University School of Dentistry, strive to provide the highest standard of patient care possible with respect, dignity, and compassion. Our diverse class from India, Iraq, Iran, Myanmar, Egypt, Nepal, Pakistan, Philippines, and Ukraine commit to act as a cultural bridge across the globe to proactively impact the dental care system. As professionals, we will use our expertise and knowledge to promote comprehensive dental care and patient education. We will continuously pursue excellence and leadership in oral research to be an educational resource and enhance overall quality of life. Thank you. Thank you, Ina, and thank you, thanks to the uh, inaugural class of the uh, International Dental Program. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Steffel today for his meaningful remarks and his tireless commitment uh, to our dental profession. So Chuck, thank you very, very much for all you have done and you would continue to do in this next phase of your career. 
I'd also like to thank the faculty and staff for our participation today. Uh, Michelle uh, Ferris, you heard mentioned, uh, Jennifer Vines, uh, and others are here. And so I appreciate um, very much your active involvement working with our students. We're commemorating the, uh, the day th today with a reception just outside of the doors, right immediately uh, in the foyer and outside. Um, and I'd like to thank our sponsors who made uh, today possible as well. The Indiana Dental Association, uh, represented by uh, its president, Dr. Desiree Diamond, who I introduced earlier. Uh, I'd also like to emphasize the tremendous partnership that uh, the School of Dentistry enjoys with the um, Indiana Dental Association and I look forward to that uh, continuing in the years ahead. So Desiree, thank you for your involvement uh, with the profession, with the school and your leadership. The Indiana section of the American College of Dentists are also a uh, sponsor and we look forward to a rich uh, interaction with the American College, the Indiana section. The Theta Theta chapter of Omicron Kappa Epsilon, which is our National Dental Honorary Society, uh, is a co-sponsor and I would like to uh, thank uh, our faculty who participated today and our colleagues, um, the IUPUI Ceremonial Brass. Uh, thank you all very much for your presentation <laughs> music. At this point, I would ask that the audience uh, please stay seated, remain seated uh, while we process from the hall uh, and then join us in the foyer for a reception. Uh, and I thank all of you for joining us today. Today, you are doctors. You've donned the white coat. You have the responsibility of putting patients first, as Dr. Steppel uh, conveyed to you. And we look forward to your continued professional growth and great things to happen throughout your professional career. So thanks, everyone, for being with us. And gentlemen, if we might have some recessional music. <laughs> 